While many people use the terms Internet and World Wide Web interchangeably, the two are not synonymous. The Internet connects small computer networks to larger networks, and finally to a global system of computer networks around the world. The World Wide Web, better known as the Web, is a system of interlinked computer documents that are accessed via the Internet. While the Web is a large portion of the Internet, the Internet is also used for email, instant messaging, and file transfer. The development of the Internet began in 1969, when the U.S. government's Advanced Research Projects Agency connected four of its research computers together through a 56K line. 21 years later, in the fall of 1990, there were 313,000 computers connected on the Internet. But the U.S. government restricted the use of this primitive Internet to research purposes only. And unlike the graphics-laden environment we take for granted today, the screen interface was a blank slate that required expert knowledge of text command. The World Wide Web changed all that. While working at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, or CERN, British scientist Tim Berners-Lee saw the need for a user-friendly system for sharing information across the Internet. By combining hypertext, computer documents that link together, with the Internet, Berners-Lee created the Hypertext Transfer Protocol, or HTTP, and coined the term World Wide Web. And in the winter of 1990, he built the three tools necessary for a working web. The first web server, or internet computer, a web browser or software application used to surf the web, and web pages, which describe the project. On August 6, 1991, Berners-Lee decided to give the World Wide Web free to the public so that it would continue to grow, revolutionizing the way we use computers and communicate. So how is it that you can access billions of web pages online with just the click of a mouse? When you enter a URL or address in your web browser, it points to a specific web page on a web server. Routers direct the request from your computer across the network to the web server and then send the information back to display the web page. And some advanced routers today can run at a capacity of up to 92 terabits per second. That's two billion times faster than the original 56K line of 1969. Although seven out of every 10 Americans use the internet, North America ranks third behind Asia and Europe in web traffic. By June 2007, more than one billion people, or about 17% of the world population, had used the internet. Imagine when that number grows to 50% or 80% or 90% of global population sharing their lives, sharing experience, sharing knowledge, sharing information. It fundamentally changes how we are as a society. While the web browser was the gateway to a world of information, you still needed to know the web address to access it. So what if you didn't know the address? 